Google's new quantum computer, codenamed Willow, just pulled off something absolutely incredible. And it could change everything we know about computing, and maybe even the universe itself. Willow performed a ridiculously complex calculation in under five minutes. Now, that might not sound like much, but the same calculation would take the world's most powerful supercomputers. Are you ready for this? 10 septillion years. That's a 10 with 24 zeros after it. To put that in perspective, that's about 2,298,850 times the estimated age of the universe. It's like comparing the blink of an eye to the entire lifespan of the cosmos. How did Willow achieve such a mind-boggling feat? What exactly is quantum computing? To understand this first, let's break down what quantum computing actually is. Regular computers work using bits, like tiny switches that are either on, one, or off, zero. Think of a light switch. It's either up or down. That's a bit. These bits are the foundation of everything your phone, laptop, and even the largest supercomputers use. Quantum computers, on the other hand, use qubits. A qubit is like a dimmer switch instead of a light switch. It can be off, zero, on, one, or anywhere in between. This in-between state is called superposition. It's like the light is both on and off at the same time, which is strange in our everyday experience, but it's how the quantum world works. Another important concept is entanglement. Imagine two of our dimmer switches that are linked together. If you change one, the other changes instantly, even if they're far apart. This connection is entanglement. In quantum computers, entangled qubits are linked in a similar way, and this allows them to work together in ways that classical bits can't. Because qubits can be in multiple states at once and entangled, quantum computers can perform many calculations simultaneously. This gives them a huge advantage for certain types of problems. Now, let's talk about Google's Willow processor. Building a quantum computer is incredibly difficult. One of the biggest challenges is dealing with errors. Imagine trying to build a house of cards in a hurricane. Every gust of wind is like an error. The slightest vibration or change in temperature can disrupt the delicate quantum states of the qubits, causing them to lose their information and make mistakes in the calculation. These errors are a huge problem because they can ruin the results of a quantum computation. In regular computers, we have error correction methods. If a bit gets flipped accidentally, we have ways to detect and fix it. But with qubits, error correction is much more complicated because observing a qubit to check its state can actually change its state. It's like trying to check if a bubble is perfectly round by poking it. The act of checking changes the bubble. Google's Willow experiment was significant because it demonstrated a new way to control and reduce these errors in a relatively large number of qubits. They didn't eliminate errors completely, but they got much better at managing them. They used a method called surface code error correction, which arranges the qubits in a grid and uses clever ways to detect and correct errors by looking at the patterns of errors across neighboring qubits. This improvement in error correction is a major step towards building practical, fault-tolerant quantum computers. But that's not it. Here's where things get really interesting. Some Google scientists have even suggested that Willow's performance might actually support the multiverse theory, specifically the many worlds interpretation. This is a mind-bending idea that suggests our universe is just one of many, possibly infinite universes. The idea is that Willow might be tapping into these other universes to perform its calculations. Now, many scientists are skeptical about this claim, and it's definitely a controversial topic. What do you think? Could a quantum computer really be using the multiverse? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Now, you may ask, what are the potential benefits and dangers, as every new technology has its pros and cons? First of all, Quantum computing has the potential to revolutionize many fields like medicine. It can help simulate molecules to design new drugs and therapies much faster. Materials Science Discovering new materials with amazing properties, 
like superconductors that can transmit electricity without any loss. Artificial Intelligence Developing more powerful AI algorithms that can solve incredibly complex problems. Finance Creating more accurate financial models and optimizing investment strategies. However, there are also potential dangers. Breaking encryption. Currently, much of our online security relies on encryption algorithms that are very difficult for classical computers to break. Quantum computers, however, could potentially crack these codes relatively easily. This means that our online banking, communications, and even government secrets could become vulnerable. This is the biggest immediate threat. Imagine all your bank accounts, emails, and personal data suddenly becoming accessible to anyone with a powerful enough quantum computer. New Weapons Quantum computing could be used to develop new types of weapons and military technologies. While the progress with Willow is exciting, it's important to remember that quantum computing is still in its early stages. There are many challenges that need to be overcome. Error Correction as mentioned earlier, errors are a huge problem. We need to develop much better error correction techniques to build truly reliable quantum computers. Maintaining qubit stability. Qubits are very sensitive to their environment. They need to be kept at extremely low temperatures, close to absolute zero, to maintain their quantum states. This requires complex and expensive cooling systems. It's like trying to keep a delicate flower alive in the desert. It requires a lot of resources and careful control of the environment. Scaling up. Building a quantum computer with a large number of stable and reliable qubits is extremely difficult. We need to find ways to manufacture and control many more qubits than we can today. These challenges mean that widespread practical quantum computers are still likely some years away. While the threat to encryption is real, it's not an immediate imminent danger. Researchers are already working on new encryption methods that are resistant to quantum attacks, called post-quantum cryptography, which we will discuss in some other videos. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell. And if you want to explore more such topics, click the video popping on the screen.